the dynamic low-pressure system that hammered Queensland, NSW and Victoria is heading south towards Tasmania, but forecasters are now warning of another weather event brewing in Antarctica. WeatherZone said the southeastern states will be hit with a bitterly cold polar blast, which will set temperatures plummeting. It will bring a combination of strong winds, showers and potentially even small hail, just in time for Melbourne Cup. It's going to be a very chilly and occasionally wet week, with temperatures 5 to 6 degrees colder than average for the time of year, much more typical of August, WeatherZone meteorologist Brett Dutchke said. Read more, Federal Budget 2022, Winners and Losers The warning comes after Melbourne's northeast was smashed by an isolated weather event last night. Heavy rain, lasting about two hours, caused flash flooding across Lilydale, a suburb less than 50 kilometers from Melbourne CBD. The system resulted in about 200 calls for help and 11 flood rescues. Local Aaron said he's never seen anything that rivals the flash flooding event. It was close to a war zone, honestly. It was mess everywhere, he told today. Things floating around and debris everywhere. It was a big mess really. We've been here close to 20 years and nothing like this at all. It's unprecedented really, read more, Hidden Budget Line offers grim warning for every Australian similar scenes played out in the NSW town of Kuma after a thunderstorm passed through. Homes were isolated and roads closed as the town filled with shin-deep water. According to reports this is starting to recede. Read more, behind the budget numbers, when life will actually get cheaper the low-pressure system responsible for the wild weather is now tracking south through Victoria and into Tasmania, and is said to be deepening. The system will cause wind and rain to increase over Tasmania during the next 48 hours. Some areas in the state's east could see 100 to 200 millimeters of rain during the next two to three days, WeatherZone said. A flood watch is also in place for the state's north, northeast, Derwent and southeast catchments. Read more, the Shire of Catastrophe, flooded town to remain divided for months residents in Victoria can expect to see more showers over the next few days before the system starts to dissipate. However there is an end to the wet weather in sight, with the Bureau of Meteorology bomb, confirming La Nina will weaken in early 2023, with the Indian Ocean Dipole rapidly decaying in late spring. Adelaide 1612 Brisbane 3118 Canberra 2011 Darwin 3526 Hobart 2210 Melbourne 2016 Perth 217 Sydney 2816 The forecast comes as widespread flooding continues across NSW and Victoria. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese said on Tuesday that 25,000 Australians have received Commonwealth relief funding linked to the latest deluge. In NSW, 107 flood warnings are current across the state, as of 6 a.m., with 77 for Victoria. Of these, 20 and 6 are at emergency level respectively.